What is up guys? Welcome to Rounded Photography, a brand new mini series where we're going to get the opportunity to dive into many different aspects and genres of photography as well as video. In this series, I'd love to cover things like product photography as well as landscapes, maybe portraits, maybe even weddings. It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm super excited to get the chance to help sharpen and hone my skills in some areas of photography and video that I'm not quite super skilled at, but then also get the chance to share the knowledge that I'm very good at as I've been a professional photographer and videographer for the past five years and been behind a camera for about 15. So I'm super excited to get to share that. Now, if you are excited, about learning some of these tricks, tips, and techniques, please go ahead and smash that bell notification button as this will help keep you up to date with the latest drops. These are not going to be weekly videos, so please keep that in mind. Now, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So let's go ahead and kick this entire series off with product photography. Product photography is a fantastic place to start because there's truly so many different avenues. We can talk about your friend's local clothing brand or Kickstarter or wedding photography or even work our way up into Apple. There's truly so many different areas of ways to make money as a product photographer. For instance, wedding photography. As a product photographer, you're shooting the dress, you're shooting the rings, you're shooting the shoes, and you're doing it all for that bride. So you want it to be lighthearted and beautiful and very, very clean. So when I got started with this project, I looked on Amazon and I purchased a watch. Now, I purchased the watch for me, so I kind of had an idea of how I wanted to go about the photos in the first place because it was me. I wanted to show a little bit of myself. I looked at the product and then I went on Instagram and I flipped through Instagram and I seen what the company had done in the past to try to take a little bit of that and make it my own. And I think that's a great place to start with any product, right? You want to start by getting some ideas and knowing your clientele. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at the product we'll be shooting. So the watch itself had a very minimalistic, clean style, which is something I wanted to implement into the final images. So keeping this in mind, I knew I wanted to go with a nice white clean backdrop, but it can be difficult to achieve this look. So I went to Walmart. I ended up getting myself a white foam core board as well as a white sheet of paper, cardboard box, as well as a mirror and some pebbles to help complete the overall design. I really wanted it to have a little bit of depth, not just on a clean white sheet of paper, but really give it something that would pull you into the image. So, came back home and with a little bit of creativity, some duct tape, and about an hour later, we were off to start taking images. Okay, so this here is the aftermath of my backdrop creation. Now, I really wanted to give it kind of a concaved wall, which is where everything kind of flows into the backdrop. As you can see at the very bottom of this product here, I really wanted this white sheet of paper to just kind of curve up and follow up into the cardboard. And what this is doing is getting rid of any seams that you would see um, attaching the cardboard box to the foam core. After creating the backdrop, it was time to focus on the foreground. So what I did was grabbed my mirror and I simply set that down on the white sheet of paper. And then I used some aquarium gravel and kind of sprinkled that on top of the mirror. Now I chose black for this just to really help that black and gold watch stand out and pop off of the backdrop. And I think that was a great choice because having that white and black really helped the overall contrast of the image in my opinion. And I thought it really, really looked good. Now product photography is important not to just focus on the product, but also to focus on the packaging as well. That's something you don't want to forget and a lot of people might overlook that. So lighting this project is a 660 LED 40 watt newer panel. Absolutely love this light. It's not insanely accurate, but at the same time it gets the job done and I do like working with consistent light. Now here are the three final images that I took. You guys will see the settings on the side of the screen. Go ahead and choose your favorite and tell me why in the comment section down below.
that's gonna do it for today's video guys I really hope you guys learned something or inspired you to go out and shoot maybe you learned that there was a different avenue of photography that you were very much unaware of that you can make money in and that's what this is all about I really want to help both of us grow as we explore many different areas and genres of photography so thank you guys so much for watching please once again smash that like button it goes a long way in supporting my channel it really truly does so thank you guys so much again for watching appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next one